Next, we're going to install our underglow light, and we need to drill a hole um, for the wire to go into this hollow pipe. So we're going to mark, get the light in the center, and then we're going to mark where that hole needs to go. We're going to drill the hole plenty big so the wire doesn't get cut. We found on this particular setup, um, mounting the underglow light all the way up, shown best up under, illuminated everything all the way up under the vehicle. So we are going to mount this up high and this will come with the wire, everything length already on here to where you run it over to the side and the splices and everything to splice it in. That way when your nighttime running lights come on, uh, this will come on. Actually even have a switch on here for if you're running long distance cross country, you can turn it off and you know not have it underglow all the time. Um, so it'll have that option to where you can quickly and easily um, turn it off. But right now we're gonna mount this right here. Um, also, we do have a bracket system that you can mount this down here if you want, up higher, angle it differently. Um, that'll be available too as an added option. So this is a 16 foot boat, almost 17. So we're doing the one light system and this is on the rear cross member it's shining forward um the back of our boat stops right here even with this so shining forward that way if you do them shining back um i have done that in the past uh, and it can flicker and blind people behind you on a particular boat set or trailer setup so um you can mount it in the front shining back I actually like uh, that that actually works really well too. Um, but we're going to do this shining forward that way. Um, we're not blinding anybody. Um, it's legal um, in our particular state. So you can, um, that way it's not shining out to the sides or shining rearward. It's only illuminating forward underneath and the vehicle's blocking it. So we're good to go. We've we got this. We're going to drill it and. Uh, run this wire over to the side and connect it and this will be hooked up and ready to go. We provide self-drilling screws but this rear cross member is uh, very very thick so I just went ahead with security measures drilled a pilot hole and that's it We're done looks real clean and that's our southern light underglow trailer kit and we'll get it wired up and we'll be good to go okay next what we're gonna do is we have our wire coming over from our underglow. And what we're gonna do is take this wire and we're gonna cut it to length. Got a little bit long. like that okay okay we've got our positive for our underglow light and our negative our negative you can see by the way this is our rear tail light on our trailer Tail light's going to have a ground, which is typically grounded to the frame. And you're going to have your brake light positive and your 
blinker positive. So right here, coming out of this brake light, we have red, white, and black. White runs from our light to our trailer. So that tells us immediately it's our ground, white's our ground. So then we have red and black. That's gonna be, one's gonna be our positive for our brake, one's gonna be our positive for our turn signal. So the easiest way to find this out is you can go to the front of your trailer. Here's the wires coming from the front of our trailer where we plug it into our vehicle. And we have green and brown. We went up there and checked and what we did is you're gonna have one of the wires is gonna be your blinker positive, one of the wires is gonna be your brake light positive or running lights. So the best way to tell which one you want to hook it to is on your pigtail. There is two wires running to the same prong. You want to pick which one has two of these wires running to the same prong on your plug-in. Then there'll be two remaining wires that go to separate prongs. So brown obviously is our two colors that are to the same prong. That's gonna be our running lights and our brake lights. So we're gonna tie this positive into our brown. So whichever one has the two wires running to the same prong is the color you attach your positive to. So that color happens to be brown on this trailer. It's probably pretty universal that brown's going to be your typical color to connect to. We have our white as our ground. The two browns are together in the same prong. That's going to be our running lights. That's our wire we tied into. And then you have these two here and here. They're your blinkers. So what we're going to do is connect these to take our brown right here. Um, we follow it and see it does go to our black. So the black wire is a little bit smaller and it's after the junction so what I am going to do is cut this in half we're going to use our quick connect system and run this wire make sure they go all the way to the end And then we're going to take our positive and run it all the way to the end. Once they're all the way to the end, we're going to take our pliers. We're going to crimp it down. And the waterproof silicone extrusion comes out. Make sure it's completely recessed, the red push tab. And then also, very easily, we know our white is our ground. So we're going to cut our white, take the provided quick connect. We're going to take our white and run it all the way in. Run it all the way in. And take our ground and tie it into that. And then we're going to squish it. You can see the silicon come out. And now we have a waterproof connection. Do not have to worry about this trailer going underwater. We're going to zip tie this back up.